I'm Sudarshan Koirala and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we will be creating the presentation slides using Jupyter as well as a Python package called Rise. So you might argue why not use PowerPoint, right? The answer for that is we want to create the presentation as we code, right? We don't want to spend time creating presentation separately. So we will be writing code at the same time we will be creating the slide so at the end when we are done with coding we are also done with creating the slides this video will be in three parts first we will create virtual environment next we will install the necessary package that we need the jupyter and the rise python package and on the third part we will write some code as well as text and create those into slides Okay, now let's check if we have a uh, Python and pip install in our system. So by the way, one thing that if you press Ctrl R in the terminal, you can search your commands that you have typed before. So I will type Python 3-m or I can just type Python 3-4. So you see, I already typed this command. So I can just press this right arrow and then enter. So it will it will say okay i already have python installed and also the pip installed so now we have python and pip installed we are ready to go so what next so we need to first install the virtual env python package create a virtual environment out of it and then activate the virtual environment so let's repeat the same thing let's type python 3 dash m pip so now this is the command that i have already used before so first it it does uh, what it does is python 3 dash m pip install virtual env installs the virtual env python package and then we create the venv virtual env out of it and then we activate the virtual environment by the way while you are working with python it's good practice to create the virtual environment and then install the package that you need inside that virtual environment so it's isolated from all the packages that are installed in your system I have gone through the hard part before myself so i recommend you to do that so that instead of investing some time in debugging you can learn something fruitful so now we have both of these installed and let's see what we have ls we have the virtual environment and for me it is showing here in the terminal jupyter slides and dot pi i have set my jss to show that in this way but for you maybe in in the in the beginning there is in the bracket there is something written that it's the virtual environment is activated there okay now the virtual environment is activated let's install jupyter here so p install or let's say p3 because the, we use the three version so p3 install jupyter one option is this and if this doesn't work, you can do the same thing that I did before. Python 3-m pip install Jupyter. So some of some in some cases, like I'm doing in Mac, but in Windows or in Linux, sometimes it doesn't work. So just to let you know that you you, you need to do that way. And by the way, all the commands uh, that I'm using here to install all the virtual environment and the, the package, I will link that in the description below. So you can just copy and paste in your terminal. So now let's wait for the Jupyter to install. So, and then we will uh, run the Jupyter on our local host. Let's wait for some time when this is installed. I just want to make sure that everything goes right and show this uh, installation process also for you so that you know what to expect because in many videos I see people saying that, okay, I will install something and then they, the, it doesn't work for some reasons because there might be some package uh, conflict, but we don't get to see that, right? So now it said that it's all done and it installs. So let's clear it. And to open the Jupyter in your local host, you can type Jupyter, okay, Jupyter note, notebook. So if you run this, it should install by the way while that is running uh, if you don't have python and this is the of official website python.org you can go here and download for your system which you want to download i will link this of, of course it's written already here python.org but i will also 
link that in the description box now let's back uh, okay now it says localhost and now you see that our Jupyter is up and running so it is running on localhost port 8888 and now we don't have any files now so this ve and b is just the virtual environment so what we can do is we can go to new and then create a python 3 ipy kernel so now it opens a new notebook for us to write text or write some code so here we can give the name let's give the name of the so let's say jupyter slides and now we can give the name and by the way for some reason I have faced some difficulty to see the toolbar here here if you face the similar issue you need to first upgrade the Jupyter themes uh, and then you need to run one command which is jt does dot t uh, dash t and t which says that okay so the Jupyter toolbar so I will also uh, link or write that in the description box if you face that issue then you can use that otherwise it's not needed okay if you are confused what I was saying uh, let me use the pen so this is what I was uh, which one is this okay this one so this box so if you don't see this box then update the uh, Jupyter themes and now we have Jupyter installed and and now we can write for example code let's say that as usual people do print hello old right so here it's prints so now it, it's all set up but our this tutorial is not about running the Jupyter uh, and doing things but we are we want to create slides right but there is nothing here so one option is that if you go to views and then there is cell toolbar and then there is the slideshow right when you click this then it appears the button here which says what type of slides you want to you want to make right but we are not taking the full advantage of rights because if you go this way then you need to export this um, notebook and then create the slides but the good part is now let's get back to the terminal or or the good option is if you go to the open uh, localhost Jupyter, you can go in the new part and then there is a terminal so it opens a new terminal in the uh, web itself web browser itself so now here what we can say is say we can just say okay install rise for us let's say p3 install rise so this is the package that we are going to use so i just want to before installing both jupyter and rise at the same time i just want to make sure what is the difference you get in the ui when you install rise and jupyter separately so let's wait for the rise to install so now if you see we don't uh, in in our uh, in our UI we see just this is the keyboard shortcut right but we don't have any other things right? let's see what we get once we install rise so the rise is being installed it's fetching the all the dependencies packages that it needs okay now it's installed right so now if we go back here nothing happens but let's refresh the page let's make sure everything is running okay now you see there is something else with the bar appeared here which says enter exit right slide so so the good part is now we are ready to go so we have jupyter installed we have right installed now let's write something so let's say that we uh, let's write something let's create a heading here and then let's say jupyter slides using rise python package right and then there is a shortcut but i will i will just go away you can change that to markdown and then it converts to markdown right so if you press this hash in front of the code it's the heading so if we enter this then we have something there let's write some some code first and then i will show you how to create the slide so it's, it's it will be quite fascinating so now we we create the let's create so let's now write another heading which says um, learn python in the right way 
and then we can even write dash and hello let's get started right and then we can press shift enter it doesn't work because we need to change the code to the markdown first so although we have here code right but we are we want to write this markdown so this is sometimes people get confused with what's why is the way the code is not working or something like that but you need to first change to markdown and then run this again to run this you can press this run or you can press shift enter uh let me show it it isn't going to mark down first and then we can press shift enter so it's it's there okay now let's let's just write some some uh, some simple uh, python code uh, with arithmetic because our, our job here is not to go through any learning patterns but we are just creating slides and how to present it right so now let's write something let's again write print uh, we are good to go right so we are good to go and then let's say let's write some arithmetic equals x equals to one and then let's say if x equals to equals to one then we want to say for example print let's print x is one so so we have something here x is one and let's make it something uh something mistake uh, let's say that we write uh we again write print hello and then we just make a deliberate spelling mistake here right so we said print old right so now let's say that we want to present this how to present it it's just easy let's for this one let's just skip this for now so skip means that we don't want it to present in our slides right so this is our first jupyter slides using rise python package right so for this let's say this is a slide and then we say learn python in the right way hello let's get started let's make this the sub slide and then we are good to go let's make this fragment and then x equals to one x equals to one and this let's make this uh let's make this again some another slide and then x equals to one hello world let's make this also like maybe fragment and now how to run this right before i said that we need to we need to export and do all the stuffs if we don't have rise but now we can just press the this rise button if you press this so now if you see it converts into the slides but here i just started from the wrong uh, cell but what you need to do is for example let's say you you want to present from the beginning right so just click on the page where you want to uh, start the slides and then press this button button so you see that jupyter slides using rise packet uh, rise python package right so here are some of the things that that is already available for you here you see there is the uh, there is a place where you can go to switch to the slide so if you press the next it will go to the next slide if you go back it goes to the back if you press down it's it gives the sub slide so you see there is slide sub slide and the fragment so now this is the sub slide and if we go to the next page so you see it again appears something below that which means that this is a fragment of that slide and we are good to go and we can go to next slide this is okay and if we again go here it's fine we have here but uh, but we realize that okay ah, i i make some mistake uh, in the code so the good part of rise is that you can double click here directly here and you can just write okay hello and you make this and then you then run this and it says hello world so this is what i think is missing in powerpoint Okay, for a person who is working in the data science field and while we are presenting the code itself, it will be good uh, to just make the correction as we go. So this is really helpful. By the way, one good part of RISE is that it already has some pencil icons down here. So you can just click this and then suppose when you are presenting, if you want to highlight something, you can, you can just highlight like this. And if you want to change the colors, there are some shortcuts. So for example, if you press Q, it will change the color like this. And I think it's really helpful but and then if you want to create a blank page and then you start writing something here because 
so yeah because i'm using mouse so it's not quite easy to draw me here but if you are using some ipad or some some other some other drawing tools it's easy that you can just draw here and explain people's what you are drawing right so this is really helpful and and if you want to yeah or do whatever you want to do with the with the pencils because these are really helpful when you try to present something and by the way one one good thing to mention here is for example if you, if you want to have some notes right so you can just write here for example let's say this is notes right and then you can make this as a notes and it will not appear when you present this okay before i complete this video i want to show you one cool feature that it has inbuilt for example let's say that we are presenting something let's click the presentation slides so we are presenting something and we want to see what we want to present next and if we have some notes then it will be presenting on the on the side when we are presenting so what you can do is just type t on the keyboard and if this pop-up window will appear here it will say how much time you have already uh, spoken and what is the current slide you are presenting as well as the upcoming slides and if you have some notes in it the notes also will appear here now the summary part first we install the virtual env python package and created the virtual environment out of it then we briefly discussed why the virtual environment is needed then we install jupyter as well as the python package rise that we use to create slides and then at final we wrote some code and text and use those to create the slides i hope you like this video Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.